in Birmingham. I'm at the canal side with the Canal and River Trust and today I've been out with the volunteers and looking at some of the incredible work that they do. I was here four years ago documenting it with Gardeners World and it's been wonderful to come back and see the progress they've made. It is so important to have these green veins going through our cities because we need to be close to nature, we need to look after nature. And in a city it's so easily to be devoid of plants and trees and up close to all of the things that actually make us feel better. Today the volunteers are having a planting session and so I've been very kindly asked to come down and have a look and see what they're doing. So first things first is to sort out what have we got, what plants we've got for shade, what plants we've got for the sun. And the important thing that Paul, who runs a volunteer team, what he likes to make sure is that every plant has a place helping wildlife. So we've been going through and having a sort through and we've got colour palettes going on as well. And we're talking about colour and having a bit of fun. You guys have obviously learnt that your salvies have done really well because they long flowering, nice fragrance on the leaf, love salvias. You get much more contrast coming off of this than if you go and put it in the same sort of colour family. This is about making sure that there is visual interest for the visitors, clearly, but importantly making sure that there's enough nectar source throughout the year for the wildlife just been talking to the volunteers about some colour choices that are going on so it's really nice having the yellows and blues together and having these geraniums as sort of like a carpet that will kind of understory all the planting. So I'm just sort of doing some setting out and then we're going to get it in. It's as simple as that. Volunteering is really rewarding yeah. So we've been planting these plants for the community orchard. Arat has come in and she's taught us a lot about placing different plants together and ways to organise the plants in shade and sun to get the best out of it in both look and also for the wildlife aspect as well. The garden itself, it's really great. So you come, I have came in from the centre, so it's really a, a stark contrast walking from the, the streets into this place and it's really lush and they've got the different types of areas. So you've got wildflowers down there and then this is more of like a regular community garden sort of space. So it's a really nice change from the centre of Birmingham. Compared to how it was before, it's a lot better, it's a lot brighter, it's tidier. I just enjoy being outside, seeing nurturing things, seeing them how they grow, seeing people smile as they walk past after you've done the, the morning's work. Yeah, it's all great fun. Yeah, happy days. Today is being funded by the Green Recovery Challenge Fund and that is through DEFRA. The purpose of the project is to provide environmental enhancements around the West Midlands and also to provide green jobs. One of my favourite places is being on a narrowboat, canal side, and that's what I've had today. It's been a real privilege. And we've had a great fun being able to be at four miles per hour, having a chat, having a look at some of the wildlife that's in the city and looking at the work that the volunteers have been doing. With gardening, you're putting things in the ground and then they grow and we grow fruit, we've got the orchard, we grow berries, we sometimes grow vegetables, a lot of herbs. So it's things that the community can use, they can pick as they go past our gardens, but also we put the flowers in and when they come into bloom and the gardens all look beautiful like they do today, that's really rewarding. Birmingham's looking really good, certainly the work that's been done down here by the canal side. It's really nice seeing people stop, talk with the volunteers, ask what's going on. If you've got a city that not only looks good, that it feels good, that's the introduction of plants and plant material, trees, that really, really bring the city alive and I think that's been what's wonderful to see today.